Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today, we have the Kershaw Emerson CQC 4K XL. Yes, this is a model that's been out for quite a while, but they made a big, big change this year, and I've heard almost no one else talking about it, and uh, to me, it's a big deal, and it really excited me, so I hope it excites you guys. Previous Kershaw Emersons were... HCR 13 MOV, wah, wah, and steel, and I, I wasn't excited about that. Now, they're D2. This one, anyway, is D2, and I'm extremely excited about that. And the price didn't go up that much. You're looking at $56.99 in this configuration. So, you know, that's not bad for an Emerson. A real Emerson from Emerson is... Yeah, 400 bucks, 500 bucks, three at least 300 it depending on which model you get. They're not inexpensive. And I did a review, one of the, actually one of the first reviews I did was of a, another Kershaw Emerson model, the name escapes me, uh that I liked, uh but it was 8CR13, but even in that review I mentioned that um I thought maybe it was better in some ways than an actual production Emerson from Emerson. And um I I didn't really get into it as much as I said. I just started. I wasn't as good at it. But uh yeah, w one of my to give you a little background. I'm I'm going to ramble a little bit here. I uh, apologize for that. You can skip ahead a minute if you don't want to hear this. But um one of my first really nice knives was an Emerson. I bought a $400 Emerson. I I don't remember the model off the top of my head right now, but it was it was pretty similar in overall size and shape to this one. And um I was not happy with it, and it's the only knife I've ever bought and just sent back. Uh, I I just returned it. Um, it was I, it just was I was not pleased with it, and there were just a lot of little little quality things. The G10 was so grippy that like you could hardly even get it out of your pants, and it was just like uh, I, there was just a, and then you know the action wasn't great for that money and everything, and even though I was kind of a knife neophyte at the time. I think I only had two or three knives at the time. Um, I, I just I just was not happy with it, and I sent it back. Uh, but I still really liked the Emerson concept, and I really like a lot of his overall designs. And I'm really excited to see this at a $57 price point with D2 steel, which is good to go steel, especially for this kind of knife. Uh, and what is this kind of knife? Uh, Emerson... I don't know if you if you guys know much about Ernie Emerson. He is um yeah, he's a certified badass. If they issued just badass cards if like that, that could just be the only thing on his license. Um you know, he's military does does a lot for first responders, all kinds of stuff. And he, and all of his knives are pretty tactically oriented. And do I want that every day of my life? No, but you know, sometimes you do. Sometimes it's nice to have it. They're fun. And uh, and Ernie definitely knows what he's doing. The primary feature of Emerson knives, and it's not on all of his knives, but on a vast majority, is this wave feature. And I'm going to link to my terrible review uh, from before, not because I, I want you to go watch it because it's bad, but you can skip ahead and find the part where I show where this works, if you haven't seen this. Uh, the wave feature means there's this little cutout in the blade, you pull it out of your pocket, and the blade just flips open on its own. Uh, so it's it you can get it open open faster than you can get an automatic open. It's uh, it's a pretty darn cool thing. And other stuff, you know, just typical Emerson features. You're never going to see a deep carry clip on an Emerson. That I, I, that's just not his thing. Uh, like he wants you to have something to grab a hold of, primarily also for that wave feature because it makes you be able to pull the blade out. Um, but just a lot of really cool features like that. But like I said, it was just, I felt like the ZT Emersons and the Kershaw Emersons were uh, better quality. And again, I, I need to get another Emerson. I need to get a newer one. And this is kind of inspiring me to buy a newer Emerson just so I can contrast and compare because this one's pretty good. And uh, and I, I just need to be fair and, and do that, I think. But um. And we'll talk about some more, some other little little touches. Like, for example, uh, all the hardware is not even Torx. It's flatheads and Phillips because, you know, that's the kind of things that first responders, that's the kind of tools they have on them. 
So that's why it's, it's easy to take apart. And it, that trickles all the way down to this Kershaw level. It's, uh, it's present in his higher end ones and it's present in the ZTs and it's present in this. So I think that's a pretty cool thing. He really likes the thumb discs. Um, as far as aesthetics go, I wouldn't say it's the prettiest thing in the world. Uh, it does look, it does look a bit tactical, but it's not super tactical. I wouldn't say it's like crazy tactical, but, uh, it definitely, it definitely looks like a tactical knife. It is very, very large. Uh, th this particular one, as I said, it's the CQC 4K XL. So you'd expect it to be large. It's right there in the name. And it does not disappoint. And that leads us, uh, I guess it's a good transition to do some specs and some size comparisons. You have an overall length of 9 inches, blade length of 3.9 inches, blade thickness. The blade thickness isn't too crazy, 0.12 inches, handle thickness of 0.46, and a weight, according to my scales, of 6.06 .06 ounces. So uh, it is not a, not a lightweight knife. It is a big knife, absolutely for sure. Size comparisons. We're going to do quite a few here because I don't normally do knives this this large very often. So uh, that's why I'm doing more than usual. You have your paramilitary two. Uh, we'll skip the para three because you know it's just going to be way bigger. Um, we will do. Let's do the uh, another Kershaw, the Kershaw bare knuckle. You can see it's a little bit bigger than those. It's not. It's not like a huge thing, but uh, a little bigger than that. Probably another more uh, appropriate one. Uh, we will do the Ontario Wrap Model 2, or Model 1, sorry. Shabazzin and screwing that up. So, yeah, it's just a little bit bigger than a Wrap Model 1. So it's not a, a giant thing, but it's a, it's a pretty big knife for absolutely sure. Um, as far as the blade goes... Uh, it's, it's hollow grind, which I was not expecting that. I did not look at that in the stats. I just saw, wait, what? Kershaw Emerson and D2 instead of 8CR? Yep, at, at a reasonable price, and I jumped on it. I didn't look at the, the specs that much. It's hollow grind, which I'm very happy to see that. Um, I like the blade shape. It's very useful. This kind of medium saber grind. Uh, I will say, if I have one complaint... Uh, not very not very thin behind the edge and it's kind of unsurprising because what this knife is intended for emerson's philosophy has always been for hard use and and tactical situations and things like that so i wasn't expecting like a huge slicer and this is like 28 thousandths behind the edge and the blade stock isn't that thick it's absolutely fine for what it's intended uh you are going to have a the the thumb disc that Emerson is so fond of is going to be in the cutting path. Um, uh, they did do a decent job with the sharpening trail, though, I would say, in this particular one. So I'm happy with that. And you do have a really good, robust tip. I mean, it's what you'd expect. This is, it's definitely a blade that is aimed more towards hard use than, than just cutting and slicing. I do really, really like the finish on it. You have a satin here on the flats and a stone wash on the hollow grind. I think that's another touch I was not expecting. That two-tone blade is is pretty impressive for a fifty-seven dollar knife to go through that. I do really really like that. Um, uh, as far as the ergonomics go, it, Emerson always does a great job. It, one nice thing about not giving a rat's patootie about deep carry clips is that when the clip is farther forward, yeah, you don't feel it at all. So that's a nice thing. I mean, this thing is extremely comfortable in the hand, and this little, the wave feature ramp, it just lands perfectly on your thumb. It's a very, very comfortable knife to use. It, it is extremely comfortable. And it's in ev every grip too. Saber grip, all that stuff. This is one of those kind of knives. I guess I have to talk about that. I guess what I like about it when I, or reverse grip, sorry. When you put it in a reverse grip, I like that uh, my middle finger lands right, lands right here uh, on, on that you know, the ramp of the pocket clip. I think that's a really nice touch. And I would normally say if that was on purpose, but knowing Emerson, that was on purpose. Uh, you have a really nice place for your thumb to land here. It, it works really great in that grip. It is outstanding in, in that grip. Absolutely for sure. Um, as far as the carry goes, yeah, like I said, it, it, it makes no... 
no pretensions about being deep carry. And that is something I normally complain about a whole lot. Um, and I, I wouldn't mind if this was a bit deeper carry, but I, on an Emerson, yeah, that's what they do. That's what you're getting into. You should know that going in. And now you do. Uh, just don't expect an Emerson to have nice, uh, you know, deep carry kind of things. But other than that, it's completely fine. I can completely get my hand past it and all that. There's no flipper tab, all that stuff. It carries great, other than the weight. I mean, it's six ounces. This is a stainless steel uh, frame lock, if I didn't mention that earlier. So it's heavy, and it sticks out of your pocket. But I I kind of wouldn't expect anything different than an Emerson, or different than that from an Emerson, so I'm not really that that shocked or bothered by it. Uh, as far as the action goes, you're running on Teflon washers, uh, which is a bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping to see some phosphor bronze, but I think Emerson does really like the, the Teflon. And, you know, the action is fine. I can't complain about it. Snaps right out. Um, I have torn this apart. I just wanted to tear it apart to verify the washers, but I didn't lube anything. I just tore it apart, put it back together. Um, and, you know, it's not drop shutty. It's not going to be but the action works great. It waves out of your pocket perfectly fine. It's very snappy open, actually. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the with the opening action. You know, it's not, like I said, it's not going to drop shut, but this isn't that kind of knife. But it's still fun enough. It makes a good satisfying noise for sure. I'll shut the hell up for a second. Pretty good satisfying noise. Let me pull out one of my other. This is another Teflon washer knife that makes... Oh, this is bronze. I can't remember what the rat is. I think it is bronze, but... Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty close. I always say how much I like how snap-bangy the rat is. Yeah, pretty close. I still say this is a little bit louder and more satisfying, but not by much. Uh, but overall, I would say 50, 57 bucks. This is pretty freaking great for what it's supposed to be. Um... It, that, that might not be what everybody wants, uh, and if you don't want a, you know, big tactically kind of knife, uh, I, I, I totally get that. I don't a lot of the time myself, but yeah, for fifty-seven bucks, this one is uh, this one's pretty darn good. Um, I do see a lot of places still have them listed as eight CR thirteen MOV, so please make sure that you're getting the correct one when you go shopping for them. I would not recommend the 8CR one anymore. I think it's only $10 cheaper than this, if that. Uh, but this is at White Mountain Knives right now. I know this is the only one they have in stock. As I said, $56.99. And you can use the code SDWMK at checkout. And, you, uh, you know, you get 10% off. So it's even cheaper. I would I would highly recommend the D2 one um, if you're shopping around at all for them. And, and you see lots of Kershaw Emersons uh, for sale for really, really cheap a lot. I've seen them as low as like 20 bucks. Uh, I would hold off on those right now. And now that there's a D2 version available in this XL version, I would highly suspect that we're going to see D2 versions of the smaller ones. And I can tell you right now, um, I'm keeping this one. And when they make smaller ones, I'll probably get a smaller one as well uh, in, in D2. Uh, just to no, they're not. They're not like the best EDC knives, but they're freaking awesome for what they're meant for. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.